Hi guys, welcome to this edition of Living with a Pacemaker. It's week 29 here exclusively on YouTube.com. Thank you ever so much for tuning in. If you are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon so you'll be notified anytime when I do any make any videos for you guys here exclusively on this YouTube channel. Now, one thing is I want to actually say to you guys, first and foremost, talking about the World Cup. So far, this World Cup is highly surpassed my expectations we've had numerous of teams not qualify granted but so far this world cup has been so interesting and immersive even though i've not watched every game because obviously i've been busy job hunting and i'll get on to that in a bit that i'm really engrossed in this world cup it's been one of the most interesting ones as of yet just moments ago we've lost spain in the world cup to the hosts, Russia. Can we lose Croatia or Denmark tonight? Um, can we lose Brazil tomorrow afternoon? You know, that's what I love about this World Cup. It's unpredictability. Even though we've lost Argentina in the group phase, we've lost Germany in the group phase. All the people that were lost uh, in the list of the top 10 teams to win the World Cup are nowhere to be seen. Now, that just makes it a lot interesting for England fans going forward to Tuesday's game. Speaking of which, I will be doing a live stream, obviously 10 minutes before kickoff onwards. Hopefully with my friend Jake once again. And as well, our last stream that we did was for the Belgium game. I was highly surprised to see that over 200 people tuned into that. It's great to see that people want to tune in to watch our reactions, but it'd be nice if people interact with us. Hopefully we'll keep an eye on the chat room because obviously we had numerous messages on there and we didn't notice them, so we do apologise. It was due to technical issues but from my side as well as obviously Jake's side, so we do apologise about that. But going forward to Tuesday, looking forward to doing that with you guys. Um, one thing is I want to actually say in this blistering hot weather, I'm still persevering, job hunting, there's no comebacks on the 12 applications that I've actually applied for this far. Now, I'm not going to be point blank range, I know it's hard market, let alone it's hard, hot weather, people really want to veg out in front of a computer. Well, in fact, I do it on my mobile phone as well as my computer, I'm not dedicated to get another job to better myself and so on. Even though I know it's going to be tough for me because obviously I'm at the age of 36, they probably want someone young, free, and do whatever, if you know what I mean. I'm not stereotyping myself, it's just me being honest. Um, but I could be wrong, anything could happen around the corner. Obviously, I'll update you on my updates when I do it. And I still can't believe this is week 29 already. And the reason why I'm doing it tonight is obviously because of the live stream on Tuesday with my friend Jake. That's the reason why I was going to give you an update on Tuesday, but due to the World Cup commitments for you guys, that's why I've moved it back to the Sunday. Now, one thing is one thing when you do job on, you do actually feel quite lonely, which I can understand with numerous of people having the same problem. You feel like you're not getting anywhere, no traction going forward, but never ever let that knock you. If they look at your application, that's fine. If they don't acknowledge it, that's fine. Because you just think this. They've missed out on you as a person. You as a person that can actually make a difference in this world. They just judge you on a piece of paper. We know how it feels to be judged. And then when it gets to the interview, they judge you on the person. The way you are, the way you're dressed, the way you look, etc. You know, when people say, Oh, you're a perfect person for our thing, but you are overqualified like I've actually had or there's people with more experience than you that's fine but it comes to the point where you're thinking what am I doing wrong and just answer to yourself this and that question what are you doing wrong makes you wonder doesn't it I've always gone with the saying like, I've wondered in the past, what am I doing wrong? And I come to the crunch that I'm not doing anything wrong. It's just they want a certain person. 
Granted. If you get any interviews, granted. Use that each interview that you've actually had as a positive. Because you look at the way you have those positives. At least they've entertained you. They've actually, what I mean by that is, with the advice he gave you an interview. If they don't look at your application, fine, move on to the next application. Move on to the next application. If there is anything out there that you want to do in life, it's only you that holds the key to get into and through that door. It doesn't matter if you do not get that job. I used to get depressed when I used to get interviews. I'm thinking, why? What have I done wrong if I'm overqualified or what can I do different? And you're not going to appeal to everyone, granted. It's like the same people when they tune into my stuff. It's the same cross-reference to that. Transferable skills from that. I'm not expecting everyone to like me here on YouTube. Never have, never will. You know, some channels blow up faster than others. That's fine. At the end of the day, you, you're the one that can make the difference. You know... No, I do not. <laughs> Before you say it, I've had someone say to me, I look like Mo Farah. Not Mo Farah. Something Mo something. Do you know the Liverpool player? No, I'm not going for that look. But, I've, I do get accepted in numerous of things. But at least one thing with those acceptance, you could use that to boost your confidence a bit more than you feel like you have. I can remember certain things in my life that I've never been confident with. Talking to females, talking to wrestlers when I've met them. And I've progressed from there. You know? I can talk to pretty much anyone. Still have trouble talking to women. What do you expect? You know? I've always been shy, sort of that sort of direction. But when it comes to people that I'm comfortable to be around with, I'm comfortable when it comes to interviews. I'm comfortable working under pressure. I'm comfortable on certain things. And always think in the back of your mind. And you know when people say, picture everyone in your underwear. No, that's not a good thing to have. To have that mentality to think like that. I remember that old catchphrase. Because it can easily fuck you up. Because you can easily get more nervous. Just be who you are. You program yourself the way you are. You know, you could be a student. You could be gay, bi, straight or whatever. You t choose your own destiny. And you enjoy choosing that destiny. Why? Because you love doing what you do. So use them strengths and what you've actually... Gained over the life. And focus on those strengths. And show your commitment to those strengths. That's why, yeah, it's a long process for the applications for jobs. Even in this heat. But it's you that is making the difference. Because you need to make that difference. I always think to myself, what am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. You really, as a person, like myself, are trying to right from wrong. Which is, I know it's quite weird to say, but it's true. But, does this government actually give a shit about us? Count yourself lucky we've got an NHS. Count yourself lucky that we've got um, a benefit system in our country. Count yourself lucky that you've got a roof over your head. Count yourself lucky you've got a job. Count yourself lucky that you pay national insurance. Count yourself lucky that we pay tax. Count yourself lucky that... You've got food on the table. Count yourself lucky that you got food in the cupboard. Count yourself lucky that 
you know, see the pattern forming. Always think of the positives. Not the negatives, because if you do think of the negatives, you can have that de depression downward spiral. So, with me, at the moment, 36 years old, living with a pacemaker, pins in my hips, does that like get me down? I'll openly admit it, at times I do feel down and depressed. But I don't let it get to me that bad. Because the reason why I don't let it get back to, down and depressed about it, if I dwell on it, it will hurt me. And I don't want to be hurt. Because I want to focus on something that keeps my mind off it. And that's a prime example for job hunting. That challenge that you set yourself out there to do. But I can say this now, as a job, someone that is job hunted, I use ways around those certain aspects, like what's way, which way, which way, which way. You start off a starting point, and you lead on to something else, and then that's the, it's like the, like the uh, stepping stones to success. Only you can make the success out of it. That's how you got to feel. That's how I feel. Every job that I've actually had, from a glass collector to a bar staff member, to a supervisor, to being a pub chef at the age of 19, I think I was. I've had numerous of bar work. Why do you think I love the bar work? I've loved it. Still do. But the problem is nowadays, most jobs that I look for, this is the negative side of it. When people say, oh yeah, you can uh, cross-reference what you've already done into the new job that you'd be applying for. But a lot of it's hard. It's the, pretty much the stuff that I've learnt over the bar trade industry for numerous of years. That would be hard to transfer over. Because the reason why I'm saying it's going to be hard is because it's mainly retail. I can go for any other work I feel like it's too late on in life for me and I know it's hard I know life can be hard which I know it is and to, to say how I feel currently in myself to you guys at home there's a massive thank you for the support you've actually made this channel grow for what it is you're the one that hit that subscribe button you're the one that's hit that bell icon to intrigue to see what am I gonna come up with next but don't get me wrong I still have the passion for doing your videos I and mean, I'm still a passionate wrestling fan even though I don't get to watch it that much nowadays than I used to the only reason why I don't watch it as much as I used to the hot weather the hot weather's a pain in the ass no brass tacks about it but you look at the way things are going for me I know it's a stressful time to look for another job but don't to get stressed Cause I can't afford to because of my health. Yeah, I may be taking medication again. I may have the pacemaker inside me. But I don't do it on the bad stuff. You know? Think about it. In the space of one week since, since I last did my last update. Less than a week, sorry. I've applied for 12 jobs. 12 jobs at some point I hope to get a comeback if I don't move on to the next application if I don't after that one move on to the next one because job seeking job hunting is hard I know it's a hard task it's a full time job looking for a, for a job nowadays than the way it used to be when I was 17 
16 or 17 I think it was when you used to write a code on a piece of paper hand it into an advisor they'll tell you about the job because technology was, was expensive back then but now technology is at our hands everyday lives nowadays since all these smartphones have came out they've taken over the world so you gotta see it that way there's no excuse now can't say you do certain things. Look, I'm on a laptop talking to you guys. What's that tell you? World is at these fingertips. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and down below is my Patreon account, my Twitter account, my Facebook page account, my Daily Motion account. If you want to talk to me on Snapchat, it's at the same Gavin Ots. And obviously, um, what I'm going to say is, look forward to doing the live stream once again with you guys. We did have a house record. It's shown on my side that we've got over 200 people that tuned in against England versus Bulgaria. Let's see what actually happens in the knockout phases of the World Cup. But until next time, guys, catch you guys soon.